This is Dr. Fran Kendall to discuss mitochondrial disease in overview. I am the CEO of Virtual Medical Practice, a private practice dedicated to the care and diagnosis of patients with mitochondrial disease and other metabolic and genetic disorders. The objectives of today's discussion is to provide basic background information on mitochondrial disease, its clinical features, diagnosis, treatment, prognosis, inheritance, and to discuss its association with autistic spectrum disorders. The first big questions that arise when discussing mitochondrial disease are what are mitochondria, first off, and secondly, what is mitochondrial disease? We have to begin this discussion with our body cells. Our body cells are the smallest functioning units of our bodies. Many cells together make up tissues. Many sheets of tissues make up our organs. And our organs, our body, organs such as our skin, our heart, lungs, muscle, kidneys. The power plants of our body cells, otherwise known as the mitochondria, are located inside our body cells. They are composed of an inner and outer membrane. And the energy producing pathway is known as the respiratory chain. The respiratory chain is also known as the electron transport chain and the process whereby it produces energy known as oxidative phosphorylation. You may see these terms used interchangeably. The respiratory chain consists of five complexes or groups of chemicals with the ultimate goal of producing energy known as ATP. All of our food is ultimately broken down into these energy-containing packets, or ATP. As previously stated, oxygen and phosphate come together to assist the body in making energy. The five complexes, or groups of chemicals, within the respiratory chain consist of approximately 90 subunits or pieces. They all come together like pieces in a jigsaw puzzle. And, as stated previously, the energy packets that are generated through this process are known as ATP. Well, what are mitochondrial disorders, and how frequent are they seen? They are currently believed to be found in one in four to 6,000 individuals, although some new data suggests they may be far more frequent. They are caused by an alteration in our inherited genetic blueprint, that which is passed on to us through our parents. Alterations in this blueprint results in decreased energy production and localized or widespread problems. The inheritance patterns of mitochondrial disease is quite complicated. And there are hundreds of genes that come together to form many different compounds that are involved in mitochondrial energy production or oxidative phosphorylation. And these genes are inherited by two sets of inherited genetic material. The first are the nuclear genes, which are inherited through both parents and contribute the vast majority of the information needed for energy production. On the other hand, mitochondrial genes are inherited exclusively through our mothers and contribute the remaining information. What are some of the specific features of mitochondrial nuclear genes? Well, the nuclear genes code for approximately 850 proteins. 
and this is in comparison to 13 by the mitochondrial DNA. And many of these proteins are responsible for the control of the electron transport chain structure, function, and assembly. Without going into considerable detail, as an example, nuclear genes encode for 36 of the approximate 45 to 46 subunits of complex 1, all four of complex 2, 10 of complex 3, and so on. Nuclear gene defects are inherited in an autosomal recessive fashion, which simp simply means that each parent is a carrier for an alteration in his or her genetic makeup that is passed on to their children with a one in four chance for each and every pregnancy. Data suggests that this is the most common mode of inheritance for pediatric patients with mitochondrial disorders. Some studies indicate that 75 to 90 percent of pediatric mitochondrial disease is inherited in this fashion. In contrast, the mitochondrial DNA is inherited exclusively through the maternal line or through mom. A number of copies of this mitochondrial DNA is located in each mitochondrium and many mitochondrium are present in a given cell. The mitochondrial DNA is composed of 16,569 base pairs or pieces and 37 total genes. We know all of those genes and we've sequenced them and they consist of about 22 tRNAs, 13 polypeptides or proteins of the respiratory chain, and two ribosomal RNAs. As stated, there are 13 polypeptides or proteins of the various subunits. And for example, there are seven in complex one. Mitochondrial DNA that's mutated or changed may be present in varying amounts with normal or wild type DNA. This concept is important in the sense that it determines something called heteroplasmy. Heteroplasmy simply means that if a mother passes on mutated or changed DNA, it could be present in various amounts in various